All right, Dana joins us with a look outside. We seem kind of just in this pattern still where it's like, okay, it's nice, and then some clouds come. Maybe it'll rain a little bit. Nice again. Just yeah. continuing in this direction. <laughs> yeah. And the good news is, is that the weekend looks promising so far, Great. but in order to get there, a couple more days of this clouds, a little yeah. bit of rain, a little bit of sun kind of deal for the next couple of days. But then we get into the weekend and we'll have some more sunshine there. But right now, mostly cloudy here in Portland. And something else to note, it's currently only 70 degrees. And last time I checked my calendar, it was still August. Dew point of 64 makes it feel a touch warmer, but still, this is much below average for this time of year and almost feels a little bit cold, at least to me outside today. In terms of visible satellite imagery, most places pretty socked in with clouds for much of the day. We did get some breaks in the afternoon, especially down East Main and up north in the county, but otherwise still overall a pretty cloudy day. And with those clouds came some showers as well, mainly in the foothills and up in the mountains. Over the past couple of hours, they have been decreasing in intensity, especially up by Jackman. So we'll continue to dry out as we go over the next couple of hours. Now, just before I mentioned temperatures, only 70 degrees here in Portland, 73 in Bangor. So pretty much across the state, still well below average, upper 60s to lower 70s. That's going to be continued as we go into tomorrow. Another day of a lot of clouds, some possible rain showers. So that's bringing our temperatures down. I wouldn't be surprised if some places, especially along the coast, stayed in the mid 60s throughout the afternoon. In terms of humidity, though, we are going to stay kind of in that humid to mugginess until the front goes through on Friday. Then we get to some much ref more refreshing weather for the weekend, but then it begins to creep back up for early next week back into the humid category. So in terms of our precipitation, now we're going to look at tonight where we could see some fog build in especially along the coast. And as we get into tomorrow, because we're going to have that fog, we're also going to have mostly cloudy skies. So it's going to take a while for the fog to burn off. So it's going to hang into the afternoon. Then as we get into the afternoon, a couple of pop-up showers. Overall, a drier day than today, though. But those clouds are really going to hang out for much of the day on Thursday. Then as we head into Friday, still cloudy, but there is a chance of some showers as a cold front's going to go through. Could even see some heavier pockets of rain and some thunderstorms on Friday as well. So overall, one of the rainier days of the next couple of weeks, but, or next couple of days, excuse me. But the good news is that the weekend looks to be a little bit nicer. So sea is two to three feet and water at 69, so close to 70. So in terms of our seven day forecast, in that pattern of cloudiness over the next couple of days, Friday is gonna be the day for rain over the next couple of days. Could even see some thunderstorms embedded in that as well. Saturday, a couple of sprinkles possible inland, but otherwise pretty dry. Still gonna be a little bit cool though, especially early in the morning. Sunday though, pick of the weekend for me personally, up to 80, comfortable as well, and some sunshine. So Brian and Amanda, the weekend looking promising. We haven't been able to say that a lot this mm. summer, so I'm looking forward to it for sure. Okay, I think a lot of people are. Yeah.